Shalom, shalom, shalom. The Lord is good, his mercy endures forever. I want to show you how you can, you know, cover your garden table if you have this type. I guess they've made it so that I can endure heat. It is very light to carry aluminium and then to endure rain and heat so that uh, it doesn't go corroding fast but uh, personally i've got two items i've got two items here two paper and old and new i've used this before it's a um, able to glue to wherever you put it so I want to cut a round shape of that which I bought yesterday I think it goes with the chair more so that to protect at least the top this is supposed to be my 30th wedding anniversary gift that I bought for myself <laughs> So I only brought it out a few days ago from the carton. That's one of the cartons I have to, you know, use that. That's why I left it there. I want to pack more of those dry leaves at the corners and go and throw it away. That's why I left that carton. So I thought, let me cover it. With this, that's why I've got this toothpick and um, this blade that is not too sharp. Prefer, preferable a blade that is not too sharp. Because I'll put the paper there after cleaning that with a dry cloth or paper. I'll Put that there and I'll show you the end results. So this is what I've done to my kitchen. You know, sometimes you can use these uh, papers to just line up your kitchen table. Or not kitchen table, not dining table, but uh, more of the furniture that came with the home. The kitchen you know flat tops so if you like doing diy like me and i'm going to put more of those colorful wind you know decorations out so all this good so this is the finished products this is the last you know result how it looks so at least it will keep the real surface free of uh, excessive heat or excessive water so and it kind of rhymes with the aluminium chairs thank you father for setting a table before me far away from my enemies I pray. Amen. Shalom.